and then try to tighten these up and uh oh <laughs> that's not good <laughs> oh, that's even not gooder so um we're gonna have a video on how to do a helicoil repair my parents swung by the other day and they said that they thought they heard a noise under the hood so you know i haven't popped the hood just to listen and i noticed you know got a gap right here and these bolts looked a little bit off so i wanted to check to make sure these were tightened up and they hadn't been left loose or something i hadn't done any, anything uh over here except for a while back we worked on the power steering pump but we didn't touch this so i put a jack under the engine just to support it and then try to tighten these up and uh-oh <laughs> So that's what we've got left over from this. No threads left in either one of those holes. And that is exactly where the helicoil is going to help us out. And the way a helicoil kit works is we come in here with a drill bit. Now in this case, yeah, this is a uh, 13, 30 seconds drill bit. That's what this kit calls for. And we'll drill it out. And this is honestly for this one it's just going to be cleaning up that hole because it is almost that size anyway and then after we drill it we will bring the tap in here and we will tap that hole and then we will take this thread insert and it will thread in to the threads that this tap makes and then the inside of that hole will be the same threads as the bolt that came out of there. Uh, this kit is for M10 by 1.25. So that's what uh, the inside of that hole will be when this is all said and done. Okay, you guys are back behind there, tucked in. And I needed to be right here because I need to be able to make sure that this drill is straight up and down and going right into that hole uh, straight down over the center line of that bolt hole. So I hit the bottom and that's as deep as I need to go, deep as I want to go. And we'll take a rag and blow this out. And instead of using a regular tap wrench, uh, the you know driver that would come around here and spin around, I'm going to be using this socket that is designed to drive on those squares 
and an extension so I can get up above it and keep constant pressure and just slowly but surely make sure I stay lined up and cut these threads down into that hole. Now I'm not gonna make it all the way, all the way up this tap, like run the tap all the way in there. Uh, I'm only gonna get so far. And when I hit bottom, I'll feel it tighten up. Uh, you can feel it really start to increase in resistance. And that's when you wanna kinda stop going, because you know, you've hit the bottom of the hole. Uh, that's a good time to stop. And then we will drive that helicoil in. I can really feel it start to get kind of snug. That means I've got to the bottom of that hole and I don't want to go farther, I'll mess up the threads. So now we're gonna back it up. And we're just gonna run that out. A little bit of solvent can help break out some of the oil that we've had there. And blow it out again. Then what we do, sorry, is this is the tool. Basically, I've got it set up already, but this goes on that coil and this tab drives the coil at the end right there. The coil is threaded down through there and we run this in until it meets the end right there. And then we'll put this down on there. And when we put it on there, we'll hold it perfectly right over that hole. And then we'll drive this in and it'll run that coil into that hole. Now you don't need this tool. You can do it without it. And uh, I think I'll probably do it without it just so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, let me get the socket on there. Okay, so I'm going to do my best uh, to get this in. I can't use the driver I would typically use because I'll do nothing but block your shot. But we're just going to hold this here and feed that in the hole. And we want to make sure it feeds down into the threads. And it will be stiff. Let me try and make sure I'm not just going to block your shot here. I am going to block the light. It's going to be a little stiff turning and going in. And that's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. I'm going to turn this. Not until it's flush with the top, but we want that very top uh, trailing edge of the thread on the helicoil to go fully into a thread so it'll be down just a little because the last thing we want is to actually grab that thread and inadvertently start to pull it out when we tighten it down or something like that so now we've got that in pull this back out 
and drop it because that's what we do. And you can see that that edge is fully underneath the thread engaged. So now all we got to do is come in here with a punch, break that little tang out of the bottom, just like that. And all it needs is a little whack. They're not very strong. And that'll break it off and it'll be laying down inside there. Now, if this was a piece where we could actually move it, we just tilt it over, drop it out. But since it's not, we'll do our same little blow it out trick. And I can see down there in the hole, it's nice and clear. Our threads are good. And just to make sure, we're going to take one of our bolts we're going to run it in that is good solid clean thread engagement and that's what we're after now I've got to come do the other hole but you guys if you got any questions about this uh, comments if you got a better way of doing this a better method something uh, I could improve on let me know uh, leave a comment. Thank you for taking the time to check the video out. Catch you guys in the next one.